What is up guys, Forever Owl back again with another remake, but this time it isn't going to be a nerf video, it's going to be a video that I just recently made today. What is Long Horse? Well, uh, Long Horse is a Trevor Henderson drawing, so he, going along with my original lines, this is what my original lines were. Ah uh, yes, the majestic long horse by uh, drawing by Trevor Henderson. What is he and what does he do? Well, let's find out in today's video. Okay, so basics of long horse. He is actually not a uh, horrifying creature that will murder you into oblivion. He is a safe creature. He is uh, immortal. He can't. He cannot kill or hurt or harm anything in any way, shape, or form. Besides an enemy, which would be Siren Head. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen mine. Somebody already watched my video, and I only posted that like an hour ago. I'm still eating this chocolate bar, yes. Uh, long Horse. First off, with the details. Long Horse is a very... I'm not going to call him very long, because he has an infinite long neck. He has no ribs, no legs. Uh, he does have a spine, I think. He does have back. He does have a back. And, uh, yeah, he's really known for his, uh, his creepy look. But, uh, don't let that creepy look deceive you at all because, uh, Don't let that conceive you at all, because, uh, he is actually the friendly one out of it. Again, going along with the original lines of my video, he's the friendly Trevor Henderson drawing. Well, and what he does he do? Well, again, going back on what I said earlier, he's physically incapable of harming any living soul in any way, shape, or form. So, that means that... <laughs> Uh, what he does is some form of friendly, uh, some form of a friendly matter, and he saves lives from whatever works in the dark and whatever, whatever can possibly hurt you, whether it be from a bad incident, strange creatures or monsters, if you will, and one in particular creature, a siren head. He has fought in him. He has won once and he has lost once, and, uh, when you see him, Long Horse is only known for being a warning sign, like, get out of here as fast as you can or else you will die. That is his warning. So if you were to see him, or smell him, or hear him, I would, if I were to hear a crackling bone sound, so, the way you can know... The way you can tell that he's around you is his scent and his sounds that he makes. Oh yeah, and uh, along with detail, he also has strands of hair, of black hair, hanging down from his neck, which are all made out of bones. Um, if you were... His jaw is missing. He has no jaw, as in the pictures. And, uh... If you were to try to attack him, he would just kind of break apart. Kind of like in Mario, you know? How there's like bar the turtles that are kind of like made out of bones in the dungeons and stuff. How when you hit them, they just fall apart and they just, they just regrow back. That's really exactly what he does. Now, if you were to attack him, he falls apart. If you were to take one of his bones, it's going to start wiggling until it uh, gets free. And if it doesn't get free, it, dis it disintegrates. But here's the thing about Long Horse, though. He cannot work unless all, his, all, all of his bones... Or he cannot function without all of his bones. If he has... I mean, with all of his, without all of his bones, yeah. So, if he is losing even one of the, his bones, he will completely start functioning. But, if he, if he were to disintegrate in your hand... Uh, it would start to regrow its own bones and stuff. Now, the unfortunate part about people who ever have attacked Long Horse is that Long Horse can never save 
them from whatever tragedy is lying ahead of them. Whether it be Siren Head, whether it be another creepy monster, or you know, just a bad encounter in general. That, of course, would be fatal. His job, again, is to protect every living soul. Or not. It's to protect human, human souls. If you, if you were... Yes, so if you were to actually somehow find this drawing of Long Horse in real life, and not some, like, bogus crap, if you were to actually find one of these things, then you'd have to go, and it's not one of these things, but yet again, his neck is infinitely long, and uh, as crazy as that sounds, he it's infinitely long. It never ends. No, I think about it. It's strange how I know what what parts of them are missing, but I got all this information from uh, another YouTuber that I saw a YouTuber react to. <laughs> so, yeah, no, Long Horse isn't a threat. Um, how you can tell he's around, like going back, is uh, his scent and his sounds th that he makes. The sounds that he makes are, like, bone-cracking sounds. Because you, since he has such a long neck, there's a whole bunch of bones in there that just crack around when they move. And, uh... The second way you can tell is the scent that he produces. He produces an odor that is very... Uh, resem resemblance... Or resemblant. I can't, I can't pronounce that word. But, it is very similar, similar to synonym. Uh, the scent of synonym, which is, is it synonym or is it synonym? Simonin. I think simonin. Yeah, simonin. And, uh, um, if you were to smell the simonin, simonin, uh, it's actually calms down the nerves and stuff. It, it, it makes you calm. The scent is supposed to make you calm, so you aren't panicked when you actually do see him or you know that yeah when you do see him because he is a warning again he isn't a mo he isn't a monster of destruction he's just a warning to any any human who comes across him again no matter what you do to inv uh, to uh invoke the thing it will not attack under any circumstances whatsoever he does look creepy but so if you were to hear the crackling bones I would personally find him before you leave, and if you were to smell the scent of synonym, I again would find him just to clarify that you you need to get out of there. But uh, yeah. So if you were uh, long story short, if you were to find or know that that thing was around, then uh, you gotta go. You gotta just get out of there. I don't know what to call it. Is it a deity? Because it is immortal. It cannot die. Because again, as I was saying, if you were to remove one of its bones, it can, as long as it has time, it will it regenerate itself. So that's why uh, Siren Head isn't, is that's why he's most likely going to win against Siren Head? Because Siren Head isn't invincible from what I know. I'll have to do more research on him if you guys would like to. Uh, since I did remake this video, I will be going over more Trevor Henderson drawings. Most likely in the next one's gonna be Siren Head. Let's see what he's all about, and, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.